to create a profile to adjust fold and or staple positions for booklets. If needed, load the paper you will be using for the booklets. Load short edge. Feed. Log onto the control panel as system. Administrator. Push the machine status button. On the control panel, select the tools tab. Select setup and adjustment. Select finisher, adjust fold position. If you want to edit an existing profile, select the profile name and touch. Change settings. To create a new profile, select the first line that shows available. Touch change settings to provide a unique profile name. Enter a unique name for the profile that you are creating. Touch save. Select the type of fold you are working with, in this case, booklet. Touch change settings. The booklet window opens. Touch the paper type button. Select the paper type and paper weight you are using to print the booklets. Touch save. For adjustment method, select either standard or variable sheet. Standard provides a profile with the most flexibility to work for booklets with a range of pages. When you select standard, you must print and check two sample prints, one for a small page set and another for a large page set. The system will interpolate settings from these two adjustments to match a range of pages between them. Variable sheet provides the best accuracy if you always print booklets with the same number of pages. When you select variable sheet, you will enter a fixed number of pages in your booklets and then make just one set of adjustments. If you selected variable sheet, enter the number of sheets in the field that opens. Touch the sample printout button. Touch paper supply. Select the tray that contains the paper for the booklets. Remember, the booklet paper must be loaded. Short edge feed in the tray. Touch save. Press the green print button on the control panel. When the printing completes, touch close. Touch close again. Collect the print sample. Touch next. The booklet fold state window opens. Hold the sample booklet in front of the control panel screen with the fold on top as shown on the screen. Place the line on the back cover of the booklet to the left of the fold as shown. There are four buttons that show the staple and fold positions. First identify if the staple is offset to the to the left or right of the fold. This will indicate whether you should select one of the two buttons on the left or one of the two buttons on the right. Make a note of which of the two buttons you should use. If the staple is not offset, but correctly positioned, skip this step. Next, fold the booklet close to determine if one side or the other is longer, the left side or the right side. Now touch the button that best describes the position of both the staple and the fold. After selecting a button, an illustration now displays to show you how to measure the offsets. Measure the distance the fold is off, A, and how far the staple position is off, B. Measure the B value from the current position of the fold. Use the arrows to enter the A distance and the B distance. Touch sample printout. Select paper supply. Select the tray that contains the paper for the booklets. Touch save. Press the green print button on the control panel. When printing completes, touch close. Collect the sample print and check the staple and fold positions. If you selected variable, you are done and the profile is now complete. Touch save and close all windows. If you selected standard, touch next to make adjustments for set two. When the second set of adjustments are complete, touch save. Touch close. Log out as administrator to apply a profile that adjusts fold and or staple positions for booklets. Open and close the paper tray that you want to associate with the custom fold profile. On the tray properties window that opens on the touch screen, select change settings. Touch adjust fold position. Select the specific profile that you want to use. You may need to use the up or down arrows to locate it. Touch save. Touch save. Touch confirm. 
The custom fold profile is now associated with the tray and will be used for any paper in the tray. Note, you can also assign the profile to a custom paper and then assign the custom paper to the tray. This may be useful if there are other adjustments such as paper curl alignment or print engine adjustments that you want to apply to the paper you are using for the booklets, in addition to the fold adjustment settings.